Next up, I want to spend some time talking about console. When we talk about console, there's kind of three major challenges that we see customers trying to solve. One is a notion of progressive delivery, which is if I'm developing my application, I maybe don't want to just release the new version and shut the old version down. I might want to deploy it partially and say, great, 5% of my traffic goes there as a canary. Or I'm going to run the old and new versions simultaneously and do sort of a blue-green deploy so that I can ensure I understand the behavior is correct, I can progressively turn on traffic to it, and if something goes wrong, I can send traffic to the old version that I know is working well. So this requires a higher level of network automation to enable us to actually do this. The other piece we see people struggle with is as they're going to a microservice architecture and we have dozens or hundreds of services, how do we actually do security in a consistent way? Yes, we could build in a username and password mechanism or an API token or signing or certificates, but how do we do it in a way that all of our applications inherit this rather than each app having to be updated or using you know, 10 different mechanisms and we have the overhead of that? And so the goal with consoles really to enforce a TLS-based approach where all of our applications get an identity and a certificate distributed to them that encodes that identity. And then we can use a set of proxies to use mutual TLS between all of our services. This allows us to logically define a centralized rule set that says, my web server can talk to my API, my API can talk to my database, and have that enforced by console everywhere in a consistent way. And I think that last piece of this is, how do we have this sort of connectivity everywhere? It's great that we're going to have this modern service mesh construct for our newer applications, but how does that integrate with our traditional and our legacy applications who can't participate in this sort of more modern approach? And so with console 1.8, we had three major focus areas. One is integration of the service mesh with traditional networks to solve that problem. The other is extending the service mesh globally. So if we have a very large data center footprint. And the third is really looking at what's needed in an enterprise setting with things like single sign-on and audit logging uh, to be successful. So when we talk about the first piece of integration of traditional and new networks, the first piece is how do we bring traffic into a service mesh from applications that aren't service mesh enabled? These could be end users who aren't part of our service mesh. They could be applications that are traditional. It could be the public internet and we're ingressing traffic. So one of the pieces that we announced was support for first class ingress gateways. These can be managed by console. This includes things like Envoy, such that we can define how traffic that's coming into the mesh should be ingressed. The next major piece of this is how does traffic flow between console clusters across data centers or across different regions? Traditionally, to make this work, you either had things like Express Connects or Direct Connect, Express Routes, such that you were connecting an on-premise to a cloud environment with an expensive private link. Or you had things like VPN tunnels or SD-WAN overlays. You had these complex networking technologies that you had to implement. Now what we've introduced is a notion of a mesh gateway. And a mesh gateway basically straddles the public internet as well as your private network. And all of that traffic gets encapsulated over TLS between them. So I could have one region in Azure, one region in AWS. Traffic can flow between them using mesh gateways. And it's encrypted end to end. No VPN tunnel, no Express Connect, none of that. Right? So this dramatically simplifies the networking approach. Now, one limitation prior to console 1.8 was that console's traffic itself still needed to address directly and could not go over a mesh gateway. Now with 1.8, all of that traffic can flow over the mesh gateway. So the only internet connectivity you need is the public internet. As long as these two regions can speak over the public internet, all the traffic can now transit over the mesh gateways, and you can get seamless connectivity between data centers, between regions. The next one is what about traffic leaving the mesh? Right? So we might have a modern cloud application. It's running in Kubernetes in the cloud, but we need to talk to a traditional system on-premise. Might be a database or a legacy API, et cetera, and that thing's not mesh enabled. There's a traditional firewall, for example, sitting in front of it. So with our terminating gateways, traffic that's leaving the mesh goes and speaks to this gateway where it terminates the mesh. The terminating gateway is still responsible for enforcing the identity-based access controls using mutual TLS. So we still get an encrypted connection from the application all the way to the terminating gateway. The terminating gateway is enforcing our centralized rules. And then from there, we can talk from the gateway directly to the target. That allows a static firewall to still coexist in between the terminating gateway and the traditional target, such that our old world and our new world can interop seamlessly. So very excited about this. For our enterprise settings, the other thing we've seen be super critical is a single sign-on. If I have users and their identities being managed by Okta or Auth0 or Ping, how do I do a single sign-on with that so that I can use my identity in those systems to broker access to systems within console? 
The next big one has been things like audit logging. So as users are accessing these systems or we're going system to system, how do we have an audit trail of who performed what action when? Right? So this gives us the forensics and compliance capabilities to leverage a system like console in an enterprise setting. One of the exciting things has been working with our big customers like Critio uh, to really enable their use case and see them be able to scale. So Pierre has been a great supporter. They've contributed upstream, uh, not only as community members, but as users and as customers. And it's been incredible to see their success for console, allowing them to go from hours and provisioning time for getting their networks up to date and getting traffic to their applications and using console to be able to automate that and bring it down to seconds, saving millions of dollars. If you're interested in Pierre's talk, he'll be giving a session later on as part of the schedule. Everything we just talked about is available as part of console 1.8. That is available now. 